Hi everybody, I'm Lisa Orr and I'm going to talk about one of my favorite pots, which is this plate by Sandra Johnstone. She was a potter in California and sadly she passed away in the early 90s. And since soft pots are my jam, this thing when I first encountered it blew my mind. Um, it's one of my favorite things about it is the rim, how it gently undulates up and down. To me, it uh, refers to something in the sea without trying to emulate that. Um, it's strong yet really muscular. It has kind of a feminine bravado to it. And uh, while it's clearly a piece of art that you could hang on the wall, it has a, a beautiful kitchen practicality to it. Um, it, you could put pasta in it, you can put salad in it, and none of this will fall out the sides. You could frame a dessert with it. It even has, where is it, this really hilarious little Bondo repair here, where something that was going to be beautiful first got a chip, and um, she quickly fixed it with that. And it's, uh, it's, it's totally practical and hilarious at the same time. So, um, it's like a very lowbrow practical kintsuke solution or something. Anyway, also in her studio life, I know that she tried to keep things uh, simple and practical in certain ways to suit her life. Um, like kiln shelves were very expensive, so she would um, not use them, not buy them, not use them. Um, and so she would do shell, shell wadding between all of her plates and do them in huge stacks and just stack everything kind of onagama style with, but with no shelves um, in her gas kiln. Um, she wouldn't use any glaze or just a little bit of salt, some slips and some salt. And also her clay body is a single clay clay body. It was just easier. She said it just worked. Uh, it's Lincoln fire clay, 100%. And um, it, what I love about it is that it has a really beautiful texture that doesn't look like a, um, you know, a perfectly like a commercially prepared clay. It has the same quality that um, pots in a museum might have folk pots or um, other wild clay pottery, uh, which has that certain special quality. Just, I just love it so much. Um, so, um, Anyway, this pot was really inspiring to me as a young potter and it still continues to be something that when I look at it, it tells me the story of um, perfect kitchen utility while being a gorgeous artwork. Um, it reminds me um, about her creative studio solutions and inspires me to do similar things. Um, it reminds me about, uh, she actually had financial, financial success with Menge prices. Um, I'm not sure that I always agree with Menge prices right now, but anyway, she did it back then and that was very inspiring. Um, and also she was, it's, it's a little bit of her sort of humorous practical poetry to me. She was a studio potter beautifully manifesting her love and experimentation in these little tools of utility, like the simple plate. Anyway, so. Thanks for watching my recitation about Sandra Johnstone. Have a good day.